What's going on everybody? Hope y'all are having a good one. Well, since Beat the Creek is over with, it's time to start looking ahead to the next event, which is Axial Fest Badlands. And uh, they've got a Bigfoot Sasquatch kind of a theme going on. So, well, we're going to have a little bit of that going on as well. Um, I found it was a four pack of, it was just heads um, on Amazon. And uh, I figured I've got the Wraith and the Capra that got these little axial interiors in them literally about the only thing you can change is the heads so should be able to fill them out pretty well and then i've got to figure out something else for a uh, full driver figure for the, probably the wrecker um still got quite a bit i want to try to get done on that one but we just had a whole bunch of rain here, so it's a muddy, nasty mess. I doubt I'm gonna be able to do a whole lot of line killing up here, but since it's all muddy and nasty, I just went ahead and threw the canyon trails on here. Go tool around a little bit, but just wanted to show off these uh, little Sasquatch heads. Now, before I get in real close on them, I'm gonna tell you, these things are disturbingly creepy, but in kind of an awesome way. The closer you get up to them and the more detail you see, the worse it gets. It's, <laughs> these things are wild. Hopefully the camera will stay focused here. I may have to flip, flip her up on end. That way there's no brightness in the background. But, oh, come on now. Definitely doesn't come through quite as good in camera, but in person, man, these things are creepy as hell looking. They've got veins in the eyeballs like looks like blood in the teeth almost it's i don't know these things are kind of wild but they uh this guy he's got some blue eyes so they came with the uh the brown one that's driving right now uh the like whitish grayish one in the passenger seat there's one that's like black hair and almost black skin but it's like a 
real dark gray color. I don't know. That one looked real wild. It looked straight evil. Um, so that one will probably end up going in a race. And then the fourth one that it came with um, was not pre-painted. It's all just whatever white material that they made them out of. But yeah, I just had to put the little head adapters up there and I cut them as close as I could get them and uh, drilled a hole and used the same screw that the helmets are mounted with. Super simple. And I mean, if you get, get up on them real close and look at the neck area, they don't match up with the driver figure very well but at a distance i think they look pretty good so we'll uh let's go out and tool around with them a little bit today like i said i'm not gonna be able to do anything crazy it's a muddy nasty mess but just wanted to start getting on my axial fest preparations and this was the easiest way to start uh, I did swap out a couple body panels. Uh, the hood and the roof panels are different. Uh, I still got my aluminum side panels. And then I'm not either plastic of some sort. I'm not sure what they're made out of or where they actually came from. They came in on a trade deal on another capper that I got last year. But I've got the Axial logos that are kind of raised up. And then they look like they are got rivets all the way around them. So, kind of cool. Save a little bit of weight since those driver heads weigh a good bit more than the stock ones. But let's go uh, tool around the pit a little bit and see if we can't find them a friend. Probably gonna need to get a new bearing kit for this thing before Axial Fest. Starting to get a case of the squeaks. I think I'm gonna have to avoid running my modified 2-2 ruptures um, at least until I am allowed to uh, upgrade this thing so that's all going to depend on when uh, when the finals of the Trucks with Cups championship actually gets to happen kind of why this thing is still mostly in its original form here um, it's it's been killing me not not being able to really do any meaningful upgrades to this thing so hopefully that gets uh, gets to happen in here soon I definitely like to uh, swap out the skid and the transmission in this thing before Axial Fest so that I can run the two twos on it without it overheating. Um, but I guess if they don't uh, get cracking on the Cheerio Challenge here soon, I might just have to bow out of that so that I can get this thing up and going in time for Axial Fest. The last few times I ran this with the two twos on it, uh, out on flat ground or just hitting trails, it's not a big deal. But once I get into some real rock sections, 
start getting bound up and really working this thing at slow speeds she gets hot pretty quick <clears throat> and uh, i think most of that is due to the tapper transmission itself and not having a whole lot of gear reduction i've got the 1200 kv fusion in here i don't remember what pinion i've got on here but i know it's about as small as you can go so it's not really a whole lot i can do uh, other than i've got a i've got a vader skid and i've got another axial three gear sitting in the garage just waiting to go into this thing um, I'm just waiting on that day to come when I can actually upgrade this thing and not have to worry about putting it back just to go run in a tournament. I don't know if this thing stands a chance right here with these tires or not. I don't think I've ever made it up this section with these tires on it. can't remember which inserts are in these right now. I know it's got a set of Anjora silicone inserts in here. I think that they might be the blues. They're not, uh, not collapsing near as much. I think they've got to be the blues. I've got a couple sets of greens in some of my other tires. Oh, I almost had it there. Oh, it's definitely a four wheel steer only line that was taken right there. That was a hell of a cutback. They might not have uh, the stickiest bite to them, but eventually they do claw their way up in there. Man. That critter hole. I'm guessing somebody moved in last night during the rainstorm. That is... Uh, freshly dug out right there so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna climb up there any closer um, I have personally seen groundhogs um, raccoons which don't bother me uh, but the one that I, uh, I'm worried about seeing come running out of there at me, especially when I'm at face level. Um, I've seen skunks go in and out of that hole. So 
that's uh, one to stay away from. I don't think we're going to need to be here very long anyways. I don't think, uh, don't think these particular tires stand a chance today at getting up this section. We'll try, uh, yeah, all right. We'll try a bump to see if we can even get up on that, over that first level there. There's no need for all that. We'll go find somewhere without critter holes. Play in the mud. Those are the kind of critters I don't mind seeing. Hopefully, we can make it up this easier side over here. Yeah. Definitely trail tires. That is faux oh, show. We got a peeping Tom over here. We cut that one a little wide. I think we found our third wheel. We got a creeper. We're gonna have a whole gang of them. Well, I told him he was too big for the Capra, but he said he was going to hop on the back, try to catch a ride down the hill anyways. Definitely not strapped in. See how well this goes. Talk about Cheerio challenge. I got the Bigfoot challenge here.
Well, I don't really have anything else interesting planned other than the new drivers, and it's muddy enough. I'm not gonna get anything crazy accomplished up here today. So, I'm gonna go run around for a little bit, but probably not gonna make this video any longer than it needs to be. If something interesting happens, I may record it, but this was pretty much the extent of it for today. Just got a new driver, a new co-pilot, and I don't know if I'll do anything with the big guy on the back or not, but something interesting. I'm trying to at least do a little bit of seam related stuff with my trucks for the events this year. I didn't do anything like that last year. But like I said, if I get into anything crazy the rest of today, I'll uh, record it. If not, well, hope y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.